today, though? It was wonderful. Spectacular. That was a joke, man. That got me so angry. <laughs> but yeah, people didn't believe me. I was like, I got kicked off because I was too loud. And they were like, no. I was like, yeah. But no, we, made, we managed to make it through to the end. My drum is so loud, there's no way we would have been able to play even one song of that guy at The Great Escape. <laughs> it feels like most festivals. It's good because there's some people I know around here, which is nice. It's like a little bit of a family. But no, it's cool. I mean, I love playing. It's my favorite part of the job, so I'm, I'll never complain if I'm playing a gig. I hate it. <laughs> Do you like what you did when you were 15? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, just because it was out in the world doesn't mean I should like it. I mean, I was young, and yeah, it's cool. I wrote some songs, but I don't feel proud. Like, I feel proud of it in the sense I feel proud of, you know, when I first learned to write and read, you know. But, um... It's nothing that I would tell anyone now coming into the industry again. It's just something I did when I was a teenager. Like most things, I did a lot of things when I was a teenager and that's just one of them. How did you evolve from there? I grew up. <laughs> I met some awful people. <laughs> um, I've just evolved the way anyone evolves, man. You just get into shit and you just do stuff and things change when you grow up. That was just an excuse to get all my mates to get make out with each other. My bass player got to like make out with this girl he thought it was really hot. So I was just like, whoa, you can just kiss each other in the, at the video. I felt left out though. I was sitting there not being able to get involved. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I would say getting like harassed, but I've never really been harassed. My worst nightmare is like the fear of getting harassed. And like sitting there fearing stuff. I hate that. I like being in control of like my fear, but sometimes you just get scared. But since I've been, since I've grown up, I've learned that actually it takes a lot for someone to really like do damage to you. But yeah, I mean, my least favorite thing about traveling in London is when it's busy. <laughs> I'd much rather it be empty at like 2 a.m. than be busy at like 5. I hate that. Rush hour is horrible. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I signed my record deal, I was more of a taxi cab girl because <laughs> I had a bit of money. Now, nowadays, I don't even get a mini cab. I'm just straight on the night bus. <laughs> For cabs are obviously a lot more fun, though, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I can't ride on the, a bike on the road. I just fall over. The amount of cuts I've got on my legs from riding on a bike, not not the one. <laughs> No, everyone. Bikes are dangerous, man. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, Stars, uh, I wrote with my old drummer, who I was dating. Um, and it's about a very toxic relationship that you know is going to end, but you act as though it won't end. And it was like, he wrote me a song, and then I wrote some words back, and it went like that. And that's that song. It means a lot to me. And Marmalade's about uh, <laughs> an acid trip, actually. Um, they say that if you're on acid, if you take oranges, you'll come off it, which isn't true. And so I just like the idea of writing a song with sort of psychedelic lyrics, and so I use that as a sort of way in. And you know, it's, it's just a general comment on, you know, people using drugs as an escape, really, that song. <laughs> uh, they are very present, that's my position. <laughs> present in this industry, or in most industries. I'm against a lot and I'm for a few, you know? I mean, everything's a drug if you come down to it. Caffeine's a drug, so... Huh? My favourite poison? <laughs> I can't tell you. My favourite poison, I can't say because my mum will probably watch this. <laughs> my, my, my worst but favourite poison is guys and love. That ruins me. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. I want it to be involving goths. Because the song is reminds me of a sort of goth relationship. Hopefully there'll be a video. Yeah, I'll try my best to get one if there's enough money in the budget. I'm being honest. <laughs> okay. February 2015. Yeah. It's finished. My album's finished. It's totally done. It's just getting the promotion, getting people to believe in it, and getting them to release it. That's like... I'm at the stage where I just want to release it, but obviously that's not possible because I'm signed to a contract, but it's finished and I'm ready to release it. I'm playing some gigs with Jake Bug towards the end of the year. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a solo headline tour, but it, nothing's set in stone yet except for the Jake Bug stuff. So 
As soon as I know, everyone else will know. <laughs> I don't know, I was bored, I felt like it. I was dating an Italian at the time and I thought it would be cool to get like an Italian boxer. <laughs> I've got loads of stupid tattoos though. Oh, it's like sort of slightly like brunette, like kind of ginger. You can kind of see it a little bit. I've gone from like blonde to red to pink to black. I prefer it because I'm a goth. <laughs> I'm gonna stay, I have to stay like this for a while. I want to stay like this for a while. I'm not bleaching my hair again. It breaks it. Uh, I like to lie down, do nothing, watch the peep show of Dexter. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, I missed that. What I like to do when I'm not playing music, and I said I like to watch the peep show. Oh, <laughs> That's totally secret. If I told you what I get up to, you would not want to know. <laughs> Hang out on Brixton Hill, you know. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. Just do your thing. Don't, just yeah, just do your thing. Just do whatever you want. Unless it hurts anyone. That's what I've got to say. <laughs>